Facts First presents Creatures You Didn't Know Existed As children, we learn about animals. Children go to the zoo and they see animals in picture books like lions, tigers, elephants, cats, dogs. These are just a few of the millions of animal species on Earth. There are other animals that are not seen too often and many people don't know that they even exist. Here are a few creatures you probably didn't know were on this planet. And you're going to be amazed. The Pudu are members of the class of Mammalia, and they are the world's tiniest deer. This animal is adorable. It stands at just two feet tall, and they look just like stuffed animals. The Pudu lives on the northwestern coast of South America. The southern Pudu can be found on the southwestern coast. These tiny deer live in the dense thicket in the forest, and they live on plant parts. Unfortunately, these animals are in danger. Domesticated dogs threaten the species, and their environment is being turned into plantations. If they're going to survive, the Pudu will will need to find a safer place to live. This tiny reptile, the Brachysia micra, is the smallest chameleon in the world. It grows to be about one inch long, and they live in leaf litter on the forest floor. They're only found on a small island off the coast of Madagascar. The tiny chameleon's different than larger ones because they use their tails for stability. This reptile was discovered only six years ago. The biggest mystery that scientists are trying to learn is how they avoid getting stepped on when they're on the forest floor. This tiny reptile is pretty adorable. The Palazzo's cat is not your ordinary cat. Looks more like a grumpy old grandpa than a cat. It lives on high-elevation rocky grasslands in Asia, mostly in China and Mongolia. Their main predators are raptors, wolves, and foxes, and these cats often will fend off open areas to hide from them. The palace cat preys mostly on birds, insects, and reptiles. To shelter and raise their kittens, they often use marmot burrows, or they lay among the rocks. The cat's thick coat keeps them warm, and they're often found climbing on rocky landscapes. Sadly, their homes and numbers are diminishing. The kakapo is a flightless parrot. It belongs to the Avis class. This bird's been fighting for its life for a long time. They were living exclusively in New Zealand and being hunted by the mammals who lived in the forest. In 1999, there were only about 50 of these birds left. Fortunately, a group of conservationists moved the bird to an island that was free of predators, and since then the population has risen to about 150. The hope is that this number will increase enough that the existence of the kakapo will no longer be at risk. The average lifespan of this bird is 60 years. They live off plant life, and thanks to people of New Zealand, they've been breeding and they have a new lease on life. The Ard Wolf is a nocturnal wolf that lives in the grassy plains of Africa. It's actually more closely related to hyenas than wolves, which is evident based on their appearance. Like aardvarks, this animal eats mostly termites. Because drinking water is scarce on the African plains, the termites have to provide the Ard Wolf the water they need. In just one night, they might eat as many as 200,000 termites. The Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey is really a adorable. It lives in the snowy mountain forests of China, and it kind of looks like royalty, don't you think? This monkey is very social. They spend their time grooming and fighting one another. The monkey communicates with each other through vocalizing, without any visible signs. They are the ventriloquists of the monkey world, you could say. The monkey lives high up in the trees, but due to agricultural demands, they are quickly losing their habitat. Fortunately, since 1990, laws were put in place and now hunting the golden snub-nosed monkey is illegal. Their main predators are leopards and golden eagles. To survive, the monkey lives on lichen and leaves up in the mountains. The North American squirrels that we see every day, they have a good-looking cousin called the Indian Giant Squirrel. Unlike their relatives, they are very colorful. This squirrel lives up in the tropical forests and they stay there most of the time. The only time they come down is during the breeding season. The Indian Giant Squirrel has a tail that's much longer than their North American counterparts and they use that to help balance them while in the trees. They live on flowers, fruit, and insects in the treetops. The Nilgiri Martin should not be confused with the popular Japanese snack, Onigri Martin. They live in the evergreens and mountain forests of the Niligri Mountains located in southern India. They eat anything from small animals to birds and insects. Some have wandered into tea and coffee plantations and made those places their homes. They're often seen looting bee boxes for larvae, too. They also eat the colorful Indian giant squirrel that I just mentioned. This animal spends most of its time in the trees, and it uses its tail for balance while jumping and climbing. The Niligri Martin is an adorable creature. We still really don't know much about it. The pangolin has reptilian scales that protect it from predators, but it's not really a reptile. It's a mammal. Four of the eight species are found in Asia, and the other four species are found in Africa. 
They live in the grasslands of the tropical forests. The pangolin spends a lot of its time looking for ants while climbing trees. Many of them dig burrows in the ground. As a defense mechanism, the pangolin rolls itself into a ball when it's frightened. Sadly, their numbers are declining thanks to illegal hunting. People in Asia and Africa eat the pangolin's meat, and they eat their scales for medicinal purposes. The Mexican mole lizard looks like the combination of a worm and a lizard. It has just two little legs to drag its substantial body around. The lizard lives in the desert environment in the Baja California Peninsula. Scientists believe that these lizards are very common, but they're not seen often because they live underground. To regulate their body temperature, the lizard moves up and down within the soil. They prey on insects, and they have claws that help them dig in the sand. The Hoatzin is a member of the Avas class, which means that they are dinosaurs, bird dinosaurs. The bird lives in the Amazon River Basin, and they have a unique method of digesting their food. They ferment leaves and buds, the same way that a cow does. The birds can fly, but not very well because of their wings. The Honduran white bat looks like an adorable white ball, more like a character from Pokemon than an actual bat. These are actually fruit bats. They grow to be just two feet long, and they got their name because they live in Honduras. They can also be found in the rainforests of Nicaragua, Panama, and Costa Rica. The Heliconia leaves form a tent under their bodies so that they can snuggle up next to one another. It's also a great way to protect themselves from predators. When the bats are in the leaves and the sun shines down, they appear green, which gives them instant camouflage. The Andean Cock of the Rock looks like something from a Dr. Seuss book, but it's real, and it lives along the west coast of South America. This bird looks like it doesn't have a beak, but it does. It's just hidden under the nose fluff. This bird lives off of fruit and insects in the low levels of the forest. The males try to attract the females by flapping their wings, bobbing their heads, and making other alluring gestures. The maned wolf looks like a cross between a fox and a wolf, but it's neither. This animal lives in the savannas of Central and Eastern South America. They have very long legs, which boosts them to at least three feet tall. It makes it possible for them to see above the tall grass. They don't howl like a typical wolf. Instead, these creatures bark like dogs. They live mostly off of fruits and vegetables, but they will prey on insects and small rodents. The male and female are monogamous, and they mate with only each other. When they do, the maned wolf shares territory. The pink fairy armadillo looks like a, a large shrimp, but it's actually an armadillo. We know just as much about this armadillo as we do fairies, which is how it got its name, the pink fairy armadillo. They're the smallest of all armadillos, and they're nocturnal. They live in the grasslands and sandy plains of Argentina. Sadly, the species is in danger. They're losing their habitat to cattle ranching and agriculture. They're also illegal as pets to keep, and they're sold on the black market. If something doesn't change soon, this beautiful armadillo could become extinct. Even though you can't have any of these as pets, mostly because of laws, if you could, would you want any of these in your house as a pet? Tell us which ones, and subscribe for more.